<laughs> Hi everybody, welcome back to Creekside Maples. I'm Tony. I'm Joni. And you're with us down here at the mill site. We're going to do another episode of Addicted to Milling. Mm -hmm. Stay with us. <laughs> So today we're going to talk about pressure treated lumber and graded lumber versus uh, non-graded and non-pressure treated. There seems to be a lot of people that are getting their mills now mm -hmm. and everyone wants to build, which is a great idea, obviously, with your own lumber because yeah. it saves so much money. However, there's always the question of how do you pressure treat your lumber? And that's an excellent question. Different ones have asked us. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to show you basically what we do to pressure treat our lumber. Now, when they pressure treat lumber, all it is is a chemical that is forced into the wood through pressure uh, and, and basically baked in there. It's, it's soaked in there and it guarantees the longevity of your lumber keeps it, you know, safe from, or guards it against rot and mildew and, and all kinds of crazy stuff, waterproofs it, but no wood is going to last a lifetime. It just right, right. isn't right, um, um, that I know of around here. I <laughs> yeah. mean, even hardwoods over a long, long period of time have a tendency sometimes to develop some weaknesses in them. But we can do what we can mm -hmm. to preserve and make sure the integrity of the wood, especially if you're building. And so obviously if you want your lumber to last, you need to put treatment on it. One of the most important things, especially when you're milling your own lumber, is get those ends, the cut ends, get some, some kind of treatment on those so they don't soak moisture and they don't crack. So what we use here, and I have had great luck with it, it's a product by Armorall. It's called um, Wood Preservative Pre-Stain Treatment. And you can get this in green pressure treated or the new brown color um, Sienna pressure treated. It works really well. What we do for application, I have an old sprayer. I just put it in here. I pump it up and I spray it on. Now it does say in the can or on the can not to spray it on. I've always sprayed it on, never had a problem. But always remember to clean the applicator with some Varsol or thinner or something when you're done with it so it doesn't, you know, stick in there and clog, uh, clog it up. Mm -hmm. I'll show you kind of the process. We use this spray applicator. You just, you know, pump it up. You know how they work. Just a typical garden sprayer. So you get good pressure in there. Lock it in, then I just go and start spraying. You can really see as I spray this on here, it really does a good job. I just go, you know, nice even. Now this is just the first coat. What I really like about using this brown color is that it really makes the grain of the wood stand out really nice. It actually looks like I'm putting a stain on it, but I'm not. This is just a wood treatment. You could stain it afterwards. No problem at all. But this is going to guarantee the integrity of your wood. It won't rot, it won't mildew. These here are actually six by sixes that I've cut. And we're going to be using these in the new home build that we're building. We're building it on posts and footings. So these six by sixes are going to be the new posts and footings for our new house. So I want to make sure that they are really good. It's that simple. I've done these two earlier so you can see how they dry. And once they've dried, I'll just take 
and do a second coat just like that covering it in really well you do the ends make sure you get them really good because that's where most of your moisture will come in on them ends And this is just how we preserve and pressure treat. This is homemade pressure treating. You can see that it blends in nice, brings the grain out. And again, you can get it in green if you like, you know, if you're working on something and you want to match your pressure treated lumber with the green pressure treated you've got, then just get yourself the green stuff. This is the brown to match the sienna because that's the color we're going to use. That's that. Just seal those ends really good. It will last a long, 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 long time by just putting a couple of coats on there. This stuff is not cheap, I'm telling you right now. This a gallon of this stuff is right around, you know, anywhere like 40 to 50 bucks. However, when you look at that in comparison to, number one, buying pressure treated lumber, it's a huge savings. These uh, six by sixes, I need 12 of them. To purchase them here in Canada, I would spend, to buy 12 of these, well over $1,000. All I've had to do here is mill the lumber out of the logs. I bought some of this stuff and put on it, they're done. Now I will, once they're dry, I'll flip them over and I'll coat the other sides of them so that they're evenly coated and preserved. This stuff here, this is all my 2x8s, a couple 2x6s. I got a beam in here. These are all floor joists, rim joists, things like that. All things that we're going to be needing to build with. So we'll lay these all out and we'll spray them all. They'll be nice, uh, same color protected from the elements and it's done really easily really it truly is it, it's not labor intensive nothing
So there you have it. Pressure treated lumber. So basically, what, $50 versus 1000 Yeah, right. plus the work, the labor. But you can see it makes it really nice, really pretty, and nice brown. It's called brown sienna pressure treated. Makes it look really, really good. And that will keep your lumber preserved. I'll show you on the can what it looks like here. And that's what it's called. There you go. It said made by Armor All. There you go. Costs a little bit of money, you know, to do as much as we want to do. It's going to cost us probably a couple hundred dollars in wood preservative. But that's a small price to pay when it comes to the savings that we're going to have in milling our own lumber and pressure treating it ourselves. So I hope that helps. If you have any questions, go ahead and ask away. Please share this video. In, if you have a channel, or your friends, anybody, share it out. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. It's free. It helps our channel grow. And we appreciate each and every one that's come on board, that enjoys these videos, because we enjoy making them. And hopefully this just shows you how easy it is to pressure treat your own lumber at home. The Armor All uh, preservative, buy it at Home Hardware, Home Depot, Lowe's, Kent's Building Supplies, Menards, any of those places carry it. You can also buy it online, have it shipped to your door. We'll talk to you all soon. Take care. And don't forget... This all goes towards our new homestead that we're building. All this lumber, that's why we're milling it. It's going to go into our new home. So keep us in your prayers that everything works out good. Take care. God bless. Thanks for being here and share our videos. Hit that thumbs up. See you later. Have a great day. Bye.